hello everyone I am back with a uh, new tutorial today uh, today I am going to show you how you can create uh, a CentOS 7 uh, instance on AWS and set up a let's encrypt uh, SSL uh, chatbot auto over there so I have created some uh, videos uh, for let's encrypt with uh, Ubuntu and Amazon Linux and also for light sale but a lot of uh, my uh, audience wants to set up that in the CentOS 7 as well so um, let's uh, let's try to do that and show the steps one by one so here I'm going to create a new instance with CentOS 7 so I'm in the EC2 home page so if you log into your AWS account then you can just go to services and click EC2 it will send you to the EC2 home pages I am in Singapore region and let's try to create a new instance so uh, let's launch I'm going to search CentOS here press enter then I go into uh, community AMIs filter with CentOS okay I have some options on uh, CentOS 7 so basically these are all CentOS can check on the uh, marketplace as well okay this is CentOS 7 with uh, 64 bit and this is CentOS 6 I'm going to choose CentOS 7 because the, I need CentOS 7 so let's go to next Okay, that's fine. I want to stay within the uh, center seven. Okay, I want to stay within the free tier. So let's choose T2 micro and go to next. I keep all this default and I don't want to change anything here because it's not ticket. The size 8 gigs and I keep everything as default delete on termination yeah I choose delete on termination then next click on add tags center 7 security groups I just make to make uh, HTTP and importantly HTTPS because we are going to test SSL and we need to open the port 443 so that's important anywhere and this is also anywhere public HTTP public HTTPS cool let's go to next and then launch I'm going to create a new key pair so that's give a name set to a 7 download the key pair and launch the instance okay so my instance is uh, getting prepared that's good now <coughs> while it is uh, being prepared I need to uh, set the a record of my subdomain so that uh, I can uh, create those uh, instances or I can point my subdomain to the IP address of this instance so let's uh, let's do this I copy this 
IP address. So this is the IP of my server. And then what I am going to do is uh, I am going to set a record in cloud DNS. We need to set the A record up front so that uh, when we try to create the certificate from Let's Encrypt, it's the DNS change is already propagated everywhere. Okay, I have a domain, so I'm going to use this and set some A records. So basically, it's A record here and now what I'm going to do is to create a new A record. I'll give a name like uh, CentOS 7 and then give the IP address here which will set my subdomain point to my EC2 instance. So usually it takes around 5 to 10 minutes so I will going to pause this video and when I come back the A record should have been propagated everywhere and I can just ping from my local host to that uh, domain so let's pause the video for a few minutes okay I'm back uh, so there's been 10 or 20 minutes has been passed so let's see if that A record change has been propagated properly so now uh, I'm going to uh, log into the server and then set up Apache and then we'll see if that uh, HTTP request resolves or not. So go to downloads directory. I'm going to make the PM file uh, readable only. So then I'm going to connect to the server. Let's see if I can connect to that instance. Okay, great. I have now connected to that instance. Remember that it's CentOS, the username, because we are using CentOS 7, so username is CentOS. Usually for Amazon Linux, it's EC2 user, but for CentOS, it's CentOS user, and for Ubuntu, it's Ubuntu user. Okay, great. So now uh, let me update the YAM package. So it's updating the yum package here. Then I'm going to install uh, Apache. Create a virtual host file so that my uh, request to that subdomain resolves this server. So this is important because uh, Sardbot will first try to see if there is any virtual host uh, available in this server that I am going to make a request so uh, let's do that first it will probably take some time to uh, update those uh, yum packages so let's be patient it's almost done so Meanwhile, it's updating. Let's see if uh, I can check my domain. So it's center seven site structures dot com. Okay, your connection refused. That's uh, normal because I haven't installed Apache yet. But it looks like it tries to go to an IP address. So let's see how far we have gone here. It's almost there. It seems 130 out of 130. So let's see how far we can go. 
but I must say the uh, command line uh, interface or command structures are a bit different in CentOS 7 compared to CentOS 6 so you need to be careful about this in CentOS 6 we have used cert bot auto but here you can install the cert bot directly from a yum package okay it's cleaning up let's see how much time it takes okay great it's done so let me clear my console then I am going to install uh, achieve Install PHP. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, update my YAM package here. I have copied some some of those commands. So this is basically this command will. Uh, update your uh, enable your epel release and install the startbot apache because i am trying to do that with apache okay it's done so now i am going to create a virtual host here so let's uh, use copy this command because i have already created i will give this informations in the descriptions where you can copy that for your domain okay so let's try to copy this paste it here basically i can explain you what is we i am doing here it is for virtual host port 80 that means for http requests so i put my email address as a server at pain then i create a uh, document route which will be bar www.cento7ssl then this is the server name that is cento7.sitesandshops.com and server alias and error log and custom log so pretty simple now I'm going to uh, create the directory that's it and I'm going to restart the Apache server let's try if my server is up and running yes now you can see i have now my uh, default uh, page for apache that means my ip has been resolving and the server apache server is up and running and it is open for port 80 but still my work is not done yet if i go to https to give me a warning so there is no https in the i need to install that I need to install mod SSL. It is the SSL module. Yes, that's all I need to install. Oh, perfect. So I have installed the SSL module. Now I'm going to request for a certificate. So that's uh, in CentOS 7, you can just do that by running this command.
probably I need to run on by one of them. Then again, new tools. Okay, it's already installed, so let's see. Okay, so the command is sudo setbot, so um, that's fine. Let me select it. I need to give my email address. Yandex.com. Okay, so um, it has, as you can see, it has automatically directed what are the current virtual hosting available. So it gives me the list of options here, as you can see, Centro 7, Section Shop.com, Centro 7, Section Shop.com. So I need to select the appropriate numbers and separate it by commas or space. So I'm going to install for only one. And uh, then let's see. If it can generate the certificate, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Please choose whether or not to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. That's awesome. <laughs> I actually manually do this, but it's uh, it's making this by default, so I'm just going to use it. That's very nice. So uh, that's great. Congratulations, you have successfully enabled blah blah blah. Okay, let's see if my certificate is working fine or not. Then, uh, let me restart the server first. Okay, let's see if I can. Awesome! That's awesome. If you have seen my previous videos with Ubuntu or if an Amazon Linux, I need to manually create those um, H4443 for virtual hosting. But in CentOS 7 with Certbot, it's doing by itself. That's great. So just I'm going to create a sample file here. shows a PHP versions it can be you can use different versions that doesn't matter but the most important thing is I have installed the certificate with let's encrypt and it's all fine 
one last thing that I'm going to do is uh, it's to as we can see it expires on November 15 that means only for three months so what I'm going to do after three months I will there is a command that can renew your certificate so let's run this If you run this command, it will uh, renew your certificate if it's uh, invalid. If it's expired, but it's not expired, so it is just a skip. What I'm going to do, I will set a cron job so that it runs on, uh, on periodically and check for updates and updates automatically. So I don't need to, to worry about anything so it will run on background it will automatically upgrade the certificate when it's due and then i just watch that it has been renewed so let's go to um, cron tab and i'm going to run this to set this cron command I will just set a sudo here. Awesome. So, as cron job setup is done, my SSL certificate is there. Now I just need to sit and relax. All will be done in the background automatically. So, this is a basic uh, tutorial on how you can install Let's Encrypt. Uh, HTTPS on a CentOS 7 server and I hope this helps you to uh, secure your website or a web application or anything with HTTPS which gives which gives users a confidence in security so thank you for watching my video if you like this video please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for getting new uh, tutorials on AWS. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.